Solving Equations Part 1. Now in this Part 1 we're going to do grade E and D questions which means you can solve simple linear equations. Now I've got some questions for you to have a go at and there's some questions I'm going to ask you to have a go at at the end. Now we've got x plus 3 equals 12 and to solve the equation we need x on its own. So obviously I need to get rid of the plus 3 somehow and so opposite of adding 3 must be taking away 3. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So the plus 3 and the minus 3 must cancel each other out. So I know x must be 12, take away 3, so x must be 9. Now in the next one, we've got x take away 5 equals 12. Now again, we've got to get rid of the take away 5. So opposite of taking 5 must be add 5. So if I add 5 to one side, I've got to add 5 to the other. The plus 5 and minus 5 will cancel each other again, which will leave us with x equaling 17. Okay, so these next two have been written slightly different, but still the same process applies. I've got an x plus 4 on one side and 13 on the other. Now I want x on its own, so again, opposite of adding 4 must be taking 4, and what I do to one side I have to do to the other. So the plus 4 and minus 4 again will cancel each other out. And so I'm left with x equaling 9. Now I know I've wrote, written 9 equals x. But it means exactly the same as x equals 9. It doesn't matter which side of the equal sign the x and the 9 are. Similar sort of question in the second one. We've got 7 equals 2 plus x where obviously we've got to get rid of the plus 2, so I've got to take 2 away. So the plus 2 and minus 2 are going to cancel each other out, which means then I'm going to have 5 equaling x or x equals 5. So I've got 5x equals 10. So 5 times x equals 10. So opposite of times in by 5 would be to divide by 5. So x must equal 10 divided by 5, so x is going to equal 2. x divided by 2 equals 10. Well, the opposite of dividing by 2 is times in by 2. So x will equal 10 times 2, so x is going to equal 20. Now in this one, we've got slightly different. We've got 2x divided by 3 equals 4. Now first of all, obviously, I've got to remove the divided by 3. So opposite of dividing by 3 is times in by 3, which means that's going to disappear. So 2x will equal 4 times 3. So I know 2x must equal 12. Now I don't want 2x. I'm trying to find x itself. So I've got to half the x and then half the 12. So 2x will become x and 12 will become 6. There's some practice questions for you to have a go at. Press pause and have a go at them, and then press play to reveal what the answers are. Here are the answers. <laughs> 